hip these days. I'll tell you you're better than that. No cameras. The way we do it is it's, it's usually organic. Jake and I just played Blitzball in the alley, and we thought it was a one-off thing, but people liked it. We got kicked out of the alley, and we're like, let's get a warehouse. Then my brain got going, and like, we can do events, we can do more sports, we can do tons of shit. And it was a big leap when we did the Blitzball battle. It was a big uh, leap to see if people would tune in. This one next, this week, is the last one of the calendar year. What can we add? What can we add slowly? And what can be big ideas for next year. We have a lot of new tech from the first Blitzball tournament. We saw some of it in floorball. Uh, new camera angles. I got a uh, plexiglass strike zone, so hopefully we can see the pitch coming like straight to the glass. I'm excited about that. We are continuing to use two field cameras, but we still want two cameras. I don't, I don't know, uh, Dan, will you be able to hook those up to the master? Yeah, that was my big question. Like, do those ever go off camera, off Tripod. These cameras aren't for action coverage, they're for human element. We have walls. It looks better. I think it's going to stop some of the really scary moments. We're like, oh, don't dive into that ledge. We had a, uh, a rules committee voting session where everyone voted on the rules. There's going to be more offense this blitz ball battle. The hit by pitch rule, if you go back and watch that, was actually huge in that one. That's actually kind of what blew things open, so. I think we're gonna get more offense. It's tough because there's only four outs per team, but people were comparing our final scores to MLB final scores, and they're like, this, there's no offense. And I'm like, three runs on four outs is pretty good. I say we just shake the camera all in here. Let's go, folks. Early. Holy shit. I'm very confident in my ability with a bat and a ball. Doesn't matter if it's blitz ball, wiffle ball, baseball. Yeah, he played in the big leagues. But that's all he talks about is the past. I feel like we stand a pretty good chance against the other competition. I've played a lot of wiffle ball. I've played a lot where there's no speed limit. So I think hitting will probably be my strong suit. I brought somebody that I think can be able to hit the ball pretty well. So. I got a good feel for it. <laughs> I would love to get a rematch with baggage. Don't care who we're playing. I just got to help Jake remain a winner and not drag him down. I don't see ourselves having a problem. All right, we're going to bring in the jerseys. They're super lightweight, which is nice because it's hot as shit. Nice. Nice. Classic. Yes. Let's go. There's a little choreography to the games. Paxton will run up to you at, at times and interview you. There's a lot of that stuff going on. We're making a show. Yeah, it's a show as well as it is sports. And the tech man asked us to untangle all of these. And it's slowly taking me. It's slowly consuming us. The cords are fighting back. We're not persistent. We've already been at it for about eight hours. Another one higher and straight down for like replays. Oh, yep. And then we have this one. What is that one? I don't know. I know I missed this it. This is for fun. Yeah. It's interesting. It's just it's weird cool. and it's, it's different. The more coverage, the better. All right. So, so it, is this in shot? From first blitz ball. All the cameras were on their own cards, on their own batteries, on their own outlets. So the post-edit was incredibly tough. A lot of time, a lot of media management. We still have eight cameras, but they're all in a central system here. We have a replay machine of every angle. We did not have that last time. We only had one angle. I'm the replay operator. So whenever there's a close play or any reviewable action, um, I play it back and it gets sent over to the announcers over there. And they make the final verdict. If it's an out, clean play, or they need to reverse it. We have the players mic'd up so we can tap into what they're saying. Right now, I've got the lob mic, so all the players are mic'd up, ready to go. Uh, just waiting for the start of the game. More staff, more crew, more time. It's such a bigger production, like having the players mic'd up and all that, but it's been awesome. That can. I mean, really, when you grow up and you want to be a play-by-play -play guy, you want to call all the big events. And so when I got a chance to 
first become the Blitzball Warehouse Games announcer. Um, I said dream big, man. Wait, listen to Mary had a little limp. But no, we can just plug it into the speakers. Look, lower keyboard, upper keyboard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, and they drive on all of them. And pedals. He said he found it on the street. He was just driving by. He took a route home that he has never taken before. And he just saw it on the street. It's exactly what we were looking for that we couldn't get in time for the tournament. So we replaced the keyboard. Since he found that, we're going to try that out. I found this on the sidewalk yesterday. Yeah, I did. On Tunnel Avenue. You got all these different instruments. You got The warehouse is pristine. This is like on par. We got Wrigley, Fenway, Warehouse, and Jersey. It's like, that's the feel that I get from here. The place being nicer makes it feel more professional, which makes me feel more professional. Today I'm ready to play. I got the sweatpants on, sweatbands, whatever this is called, sweat, sweatband, eye black, proper attire, not running shoes, but Nikes. I'm ready to go, bro. Every team's gonna be good. I think the big hitters, like Baggage and Rotten, that's probably the top two competition, so you know, gotta knock them out. One banner going up today, another banner going up whenever the next time we play this damn tournament. I don't really give a fuck who we beat, to be honest with you. It's the past. I'm living in here. Trevor lives back there. I'm right here. Trevor never played Dalton High before. Hitting's not a problem. Hitting's not a problem. It's do or die. Let's make a statement. We're doing entertainment as much as sports. I like pool play because it gives everybody a cushion. So it's still six games of no elimination, then the rest elimination. It is an ultra competitive field. We have studs from all over this great land of ours. Oh, I think there's a little bit of trouble for him. He's worried about the wrong things. Here we go. 